Yo guys, welcome back to Cryptoria. Today I'm going to be covering Reef, but before I do, I'd appreciate if you like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you know when I upload. And with that being said, let's get into this video. So guys, what is Reef? Reef is a DeFi operating system, smart liquidity aggregator, and yield engine that resolves these issues by connecting crypto asset buyers and sellers to liquidity pool in exchanges and the DeFi ecosystem and streamlines crypto asset management through an AI-driven trading engine that maximizes yield within each risk category. Reef delivers on the promise of smarter crypto trading through two major components and enables trading of assets via the global liquidity aggregator with access to liquidity from both centralized exchanges and DEX, smart lending, borrowing, staking, mining through the AI-driven personalized Reef smart yield farming aggregator. Reef does not require the user to give any private keys and operates under Polkadot's shared security model, ensuring high resilience and faultless upgradability. So guys, jumping straight onto CoinMarketCap, as you guys can see, they are doing pretty well at the moment, up 6.52% over the last 24 hours, currently circulate underneath that 2 cent mark. So as you guys can see, it is actually up 6.52%, uh, the current mark of around 205 million, circulating volumes are over 43 million, so it's actually doing quite well, nearly up 100% over the last 24 hours. Just going down at the moment, as you guys can see, it is pretty much in red throughout the whole year. It did start free, it's fairly strong around that 3 cent mark and it has actually gone down on trade to around that 2 cent mark. So just going over where you guys can buy it, best place being on Binance to do actually trade on futures. So you can actually do this future trading as well, but you could actually pick these up on other exchanges as well. So guys, I will be jumping onto the website now. So guys, I have just jumped onto the Reef's website. As you guys can see, DeFi made easy, powered by Polkadot. Just going down, accessing DeFi liquidity across blockchains. Gain smart DeFi exposure with interoperability across multiple blockchain ecosystems. Reef chain integrates with DeFi from Ethereum, Polkadot, Avalanche, Cosmos, and the Binance Smart Chain. Just going over, as you guys can see, is pretty much what it's just said. Going down to introducing the Reef Chain. Reef Chain is an EVM compatible chain for DeFi. It is fast, scalable, and has low transaction costs and does no wasteful mining. It is built with Polkadot Substract and comes with on chain governance, so Solidity, Liquidity Bridge, Reef Staking, and Community Governed. Going over to this, you go ahead and check this out as well. Join the ecosystem so you can set into your email and you could build on things as well. So, introduce the Reef platform as you guys can see. Reef chain is built on for DeFi. So, Reef uh, 20 tokens and NFTs, liquidity bridges, DEX and AMMs, and stable and money markets. So, go ahead and check this out as well. It just gives you more of an insight of what Reef 20 is. Built with Polkadot or Substract, ReefChain features next-gen blockchain technology, utilizing nominated proof-of-stake consensus, EVM extension, on-chain upgradability, uh, lit P2P networking, and state-of-the-art cryptography. So it's pretty good as well. In terms of this, as you guys can see, governed by the Reef DeFi community, nominated proof-of-stake, upgradability, fee burn, governance rewards there is a lot of stuff to actually cover guys so do make sure you check it out as well i will be going over the roadmap in a bit as well so, so guys i will be jumping on to the news now so i have jumped back onto my favorite website which is coin mark out this is the best website in terms of giving out the upcoming news in my opinion so go ahead and check this out as well guys so as you guys can see i have already uh, filtered out what's happening in terms of reef so i do have a bunch of events that's happening later on this year q3 slash q4 so as you guys can see the mobile app uh, integration nft basket steam ecosystem basket and, and the reef debit card so just going back onto our website as you guys can see on the roadmap that i did mention so on 20 uh 2021 q2 so these two have already been done so analytics engine defa modules analytics engine defa modules so they have already done that as well just going over this so as you guys can see the do to have a lot of things to do as you guys can see still in work in progress such as the defa financial primitives the pooling mechanism fiat gateway integration so they do have a lot of stuff that's still in work in progress so and plan as well so they got this the refi uh, sdk mobile integration NFT baskets 
and so on so they do have a lot of stuff coming up that is the end of all of that they haven't actually mentioned q4 as of yet so they do have a lot of stuff happening so i do believe if it doesn't or if it's still being planned or if it's in a work in progress i'm pretty sure they'll continue on in q4 so that is the upcoming news which is going to be happening so i do hope that this will break those sort of resistances that has been struggling to break um that will be break uh, that will be showing down later in this video so hopefully these sort of upcoming news does help support that cause so i will be jumping on to the price analysis now so guys whatever has been waiting for the price analysis so as you guys can see i have jumped onto the monthly time frame and i have already drawn out this analysis of what i believe i see in the long term future for this project so as you guys can see there is a minor little range that's actually happening between this level of support and this resistance so it has been rejecting the level around that cent mark and that 0.5 cent mark for quite some time so as you guys can see around that six to five cent mark has been rejecting multiple times around five times has been rejected and it hasn't actually broken above it cleanly yet so hopefully what it does now is create this level of support and then what it does it breaks through it so cleanly creating that level of resistance again and the support going back toward that all-time high around that 15 cent mark so that is what i believe for the long term in terms of short term as you guys can see i've jumped onto daily now and it has been ranging for quite some time around that five cent mark to around that cent mark so hopefully what it does now is create that level of support or rejecting this trend line here so as you guys can see i have created this trend line has touched once twice hopefully what it does now it touches that third time create that level of support and going back towards that five cent mark this is very short term so as you know reef is actually on futures or any other trading platform as well so you could trade this on a short term basis so hopefully that's what it does if not i do see it breaking that structure breaking that level of support creating that little bit of resistance here and then breaking down further to under that penny mark so guys that is what i believe in terms of short term and long term hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and turn on bell notification for all future videos and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video